All right, so a lot of people are still having difficulty with the uh, sign convention associated with uh, power uh, usage, so I'll give you a little bit uh, of an example here. Uh, we recognize that uh, uh, with an element, if we have a voltage designation and we have a current designation, then the power that's consumed in that element is equal to V times I, where I is the current that enters the positive terminal of the voltage definition. All right, let's put that into practice in a circuit here. We have a circuit. Uh, I'm going to call this VA, so that's a nodal uh, reference establishment. So let's solve this by nodal analysis. So we have VA minus 10 over uh, 10 ohms plus VA over 40 minus 2 amps is equal to zero. There's our uh, KCL expression at the top node. Solving this becomes 5 VA uh, is equal to 120 uh, volts, so that VA is equal to 24 volts. So the node voltage here is 24 volts. Once we determine that that is 24 volts, I can determine the current I. Uh, I is equal to uh, in the direction shown, it is 10 minus 24, all divided by uh, 10, which becomes uh, minus 1.4 amps. I can determine the current down through the uh, 40 ohm resistor as being um, 24 volts divided by 40 ohms, which is equal to 0.6 amps. All right, so we have enough now that we can figure out what the uh, the power dissipation in all of the elements uh, uh, results in. So let's start off with the 10 ohm resistor. The 10 ohm resistor, I use the standard expression that says this is I squared R. In this particular case, it is minus 1.4 amps, all squared, multiplied by 10 which is equal to 19.6 watts. All right, the negative sign squares, as we know, resistors, the only thing they can do is dissipate power, and so therefore the power that's uh, consumed in this resistor is 19.6 watts. Let's look at the uh, 40 ohm resistor, and I can either say that this is V squared over R, uh, which gives me 24 volts squared divided by 40, or I can say it is I squared R, which is this, this becomes 0 0.6 amps squared uh, times 40, and this works out to be 14.4 um, watts, 14.4 watts. Now, let's have a look at the voltage source. The voltage source the current is leaving, the current I is leaving the positive terminal, so therefore P is defined as minus V times I. The minus sign uh, indicates uh, the fact that the current is leaving, as opposed to our passive sign convention where the current enters the positive terminal. And so we have to put that negative sign in there to account for that. And so therefore this becomes minus. Uh, the voltage is 10 volts. The current is minus 1.4 amps, and so therefore the power that is consumed in the 10 volt source works out to be 14 watts. And so therefore uh, this source is consuming power. And that's okay. Uh, you can have a battery that's being charged. It's still a, a voltage source, but it's being charged by the rest of the circuitry that's around it. And so it's all right for a, a, a voltage source or a current source to be supplying power. Now let's look at the other current source. Uh, the other source, the other source is this current source over here. And we recognize that when we solve for VA, it was 24 volts with plus on the top. So therefore this current leaves the plus terminal. And so therefore we have to define it as minus V times I. In this particular case, it's minus. The V is uh, 24 volts. The I is 2 amps. And so therefore, this becomes minus 48 watts. 
And if we take 19.6, 14.4, 14.0, minus 48, 0 watts. So we have the power that is consumed is equal to the power that is uh, developed or generated. And uh, hopefully that will help you w with the sign convention uh, with respect to when you use pluses, when you use minuses, how the, uh, the uh, polarity of the power uh, works out. All right? Thanks.